This is probably a good time to step back and ask that all-important question. Is this all weird? And the answer is no. No, it is not. It is not weird. This is not unfamiliar at all. If you think, think back to what you learned in single variable calculus, the usual integral, the integral of f of x dx, as x goes from a to b, is precisely a scalar path integral. It's the integral of f dl over a path gamma. What path gamma? Well, let's do the simplest possible thing. Let's take gamma of t equals t as t goes from a to b. Then let's follow the form. What's the length of the derivative of gamma? Of course, that's just one. And what that means is that the integral of f dl over this gamma is the integral of f of t dt as t goes from a to b. And swapping out a t for an x takes us right back to the usual single variable calculus integral. Now, all of your intuition from single variable calculus can be imported into understanding how scalar path integrals work. For example, if you look at the standard facts, the basic rules that these follow, you'll see some familiar things. For example, linearity. Given two functions, f and g, given a scalar c, then take the linear combination cf plus g, look at the path integral of that over gamma, that is really the integral of f over gamma and the integral of g over gamma in a linear combination. Rescale the one, add them together, of course. That's the way it works. Additivity is another property that should be familiar. If I have two paths, gamma and gamma tilde, that abut, I can concatenate these paths. Do gamma, then do gamma tilde. Integrating f over that long path is the sum of the integrals of f over the path components. Now, does that look familiar? Do you remember something from single variable calculus that operates the same way? If you do, then not only will that make sense, but orientation reversal will also make sense. Given a path gamma and a function f, if you integrate f over gamma and then integrate f over minus gamma, that is the same path, but with the endpoints reversed where you, you go backwards, then how do these two integrals compare? Reversing the orientation reverses the sign that you get at the end. It adds a minus sign to that integral. Does that sound familiar? It should. All of the standard properties of scalar path integrals make sense based on what you know from single variable calculus.